Okay, despite doing tutorials every single week and doing my own artwork on the iPad, this is the first time I've ever even had to think about replacing the Apple tip or the Apple Pencil tip. Now, admittedly, I've lost Apple Pencils, I've broken them in other ways, but the tip itself, this is the first time I've had to consider and purchase one. So inevitably, when looking to replace Apple components or products, there is the option of the official branded one or an alternative. Now, I have an alternative here called Miko, it's basically half the price of the official branded one. So I wanted to put it to the test. I purchased both just to see really whether there was any big difference, whether you are actually getting better value for money with the cheaper option. So like I say, I really haven't noticed a great deal of wear and tear. Just occasionally when I'm trying to tap on certain buttons or areas of you know different programs and finding I'm having to angle a pencil a little bit differently to make sure that it definitely activates it. I've not noticed it really affecting my drawing but it is affecting when I'm going through menus and tapping buttons and things. So anyway, the official branded ones are £19 and this alternative called Miko was £9.99, so you know, roughly half. You get four in each packet and I'm gonna compare the two. So first of all, having a look at the packaging, I mean really the packaging, I don't actually care less. If it came in a little plastic wallet, I would be quite happy with that as long as the actual product itself was of decent quality but it does come in a little foam section and they pressed in there just, you know, so they're not rubbing against each other before they arrive to you and they're well protected. So that's okay. It's cheaper, obviously, than the official branded in terms of feel, but honestly, that's not a big deal. And then the official branded one, predictably, has nice packaging, has a little, I mean, I've already removed this and I've just put the old one back in there as it happens. But yeah, so the, all the new ones, a little plastic tab you can peel off and it's well protected within that packaging. It's a nice packaging, but really it shouldn't matter. Now in terms of the use of it, I'm actually able to determine the difference just by feel because this is the official one. And just by running a nail along it, I can feel that it's completely smooth on the surface of the tip. Whereas the alternative, which is already noticeable when you try and screw it on, it's a little bit stiffer. It doesn't fit quite as well. And it's actually a slight texture there too. And you'll hear it when I hold up to the microphone. Yeah, a little bit of texture, and it doesn't really give you any textured feel in terms of drawing, so it isn't an advantage in that sense. It's just a slightly different kind of surface feel to it. So yeah, one noticeable difference is it feels different. It screws into the actual pencil a little bit different, a little bit stiffer, but again, none of that really matters to me. It's how well it works. So in terms of how it functions, I have not noticed it being any different than what I'd expect an Apple Pencil tip to be really. So in the most important sense, then it's identical seeming than the official one. But then I thought I'd do a comparison with how well it stands up to extended use. Now I wanted to know, and I may do a, a video at a later point where I've used it for a longer period of time, but I wanted to know in a quick turnaround in a, in a short space of time, which would perhaps be the most durable. So I thought a good test of it on the screensaver, or sorry, the screen protector that I've got, which is a paper-like, so it has a slight tooth to it, so it has a slight texture, and it is known for wearing the Apple Pencil nib, both the official one and alternatives, it is known for wearing them down. So I decided to do a bit of a test where I was basically scribbling. Now I was careful to hold it, so we have on the Apple Pencil 2 a flattened edge, so I was careful to put my thumb on that and then doing this kind of a test backwards and forwards. And as much as the pain as it was, I did this for a full 10 minutes with both nibs. And then with the naked eye, I, I struggled really to perhaps identify much of a difference. I thought that I could see a bit of a difference. I mean, I can see it now just looking at it. You probably won't be able to see that on camera. So I use the iPhone on the macro camera to really have a look close up. And I've got them saved as layers here so that we can compare the two images. So we have the first image, which is the official branded one. And I've been very careful. It's a slight alternative angle. It's twisted a little bit on the next photograph, but I've been as careful as I possibly can to line the two images up. And we have two different degrees of wear. So this top image is the apple, and you can see by the red line that I've drawn, and the length of that red line corresponds and would match to the wear on that edge. And if I remove that, then I think there's a noticeable difference. So we have a longer line here on the non-Apple version compared to the Apple one. Now it's not perhaps not the most scientific method of testing this, but you know, 10 minutes use in an unnatural method 
of testing this because when you're actually using it, you would probably rotate it more. You would, wouldn't consistently do this type of pressure and abrasion consistently for 10 minutes. Like I say, I can use an apple tip for months and not notice any particular issue with it wearing. But clearly when you try and focus it for a solid 10 minutes, and do a very repetitive wear on it, then it, it does form a flattened edge. So this is the official one. That's the Miko brand. And frankly, it has sustained more wear and tear. So there are other alternatives to this Miko brand, obviously. I chose this one because it seemed to be well reviewed and it was high up on the Amazon list, not through sponsorship or not a paid advert within Amazon. It was just naturally up there because it had good reviews. It was half the price of the original, so it represented a real reason that you might actually consider it. But I think having tested it in admittedly a limited capacity, I still think that it demonstrates that there is a difference in quality. Now, if you're only going to have light use, occasional use, or you just, you know, you have a naturally light hand, I actually do personally, maybe the difference isn't going to be that noticeable. And you do get four tips within both of the boxes. So even though it wears a little bit faster on the alternative brands, maybe because you get four for 10 pound, I'm not sure what it is in dollars, maybe that still represents great value for you. But I know with the four Apple branded ones, it's probably gonna last me at least a couple of years. I'm not a complete Apple sheep. I don't necessarily need to stick to Apple branded things, but I've tested it and the evidence seems to suggest that the Apple official branded product is better in this instance. I hope that's helped. I do loads of other kind of painting tutorials normally. I do like to test products here and there. Subscribe, make sure that you catch my other kind of content, look through my playlists, and I hope to catch you back here on another video. See you later.